Richard Caresian, back with the rug spot, and how to maintain, specifically, how to proper pad your rugs. Simple repairs you might care to try, and checking your rugs for soiling. Well, padding is divided between two components. Thin, non-slip, professional products, rubber, natural rubber on the bottom side, felled on the top side. Natural rubber on the bottom side, felled on the top side, different thicknesses, one supports, one gives cushion, one gives a little more luxury, both have non-slip qualities. Both are safe on newly finished hardwood floors, tile, marble, concrete, and many other hard surfaces. Stabilizing rugs on carpeting can be very challenging. Felt board, put under the rug, fit it so that the edges overhang two inches all the way around, have had great success with rugs that creep, move, and walk on top of carpeting. Padding will lengthen the expectancy of the rug and give more and more years of comfortable enjoyment. Simple repairs, needle and thread. It may be catching a weft on a fringe end that's frayed out. It may be tucking an a, a edge wrap that may have broken off the edge of the rug um, and just tightening that up. These are very small repairs. Sprouting on the surface of the rug, trim level to the existing pile of the rug, not pulp. Common uh, soil. Checking for common soil. A white washcloth. Dry, the kind you'll have in your bathroom, can be briskly rubbed over the surface of the rug. If it's a very light gray, on appearance, the rug has very little carbon soiling. If it's dark chocolate brown, the rug is ready for professional washing. As you might see in back of me, this is some of the equipment that does this, duster, washer, dry room, extractors, um, all the, the niceties uh, that the Middle East did not have originally when these rugs were woven and produced. Try those tips, you'll like it. You'll be happy with the results. Thank you.